Okay, why is your 5K time not getting any faster? It's incredibly frustrating. You're putting in the effort, you're doing the training, and you're going out there on a regular basis and trying to improve your 5K time or your park run time, and you're just not moving forward or making tiny, tiny gains forward. Why is that? By the end of this video, I'm gonna let you know exactly the mistakes that are commonly made, how to navigate them and correct them so that not only can you move forward, but you can just smash through that plateau and hit the next level. And I can tell you that with total confidence because I went from not being able to run 400 meters to being able to run a marathon in three hours 25. But it was really once I understood that if I can improve my 5K time from just over 20 minutes to 16 minutes, then what is that gonna mean for my marathon time? And what it meant for my marathon time is I was able to bring it down from three hours 25 to 2.37 because I'd made four minute pace per kilometer, my previous personal best per kilometer for the 5K, I'd made that seem easy. And you can do exactly the same too. Now, just before we get into the tips, let me tell you a quick story. For the last 10 weeks, we've had All In Run Club, which is essentially park run on a Sunday morning, 7 a.m. And I'm watching guys of all abilities from 16 minutes all the way up to 50 minutes and everything in between and all ages follow a very, very similar pattern. In the beginning weeks, they're moving forward every week and you're in that positive feed loop. It feels great because your time is moving forward and then all of a sudden, we're stagnating. Does it sound familiar? A lot of runners go through this and this is how to correct it. Number one, you won't improve in seven days. As devastating as that to hear, it's also really exciting. It's the hard work, it's the consistency that is gonna push you forward. So if you're going out there and running as fast as you possibly can on one weekend in the park run or 5K, and doing exactly the same the next week, expecting a big result or some progress, it's gonna be very, very difficult. And in actual fact, you're working against yourself. You're going out too hard, too fast. And what that's gonna mean is you hit a plateau very quickly or you begin to slide backwards. So unless you're brand new to running, in which case you've got months of just continuous improvement because if you insert the habit properly and you're running every day or every other day, you're gonna move forward. And those gains are very great in the beginning. It's kind of like a massive upward progress curve. And then you begin to need to work for your efforts. So you maybe wanna implement interval running or endurance and then the total volume of the week. Number two, you've got to build consistency. And it's consistency in the running, it's hardwiring that habit of getting out there and making it happen whether you feel one out of 10 or 10 out of 10, but it's also the consistency with the structure. On a weekly basis, you've gotta be doing some fast running and you've gotta be doing some long running. You've got to be building your endurance and stamina and your speed, speed endurance. But that's gotta be packed with some recovery runs and easy runs to help bridge the gap between the harder sessions. And that's what's going to give you your consistency along with treating your body right with the right level of hydration, the right electrolytes and the right nutrition. Number three, structured interval training. If you're really serious about your running and about progress, which you absolutely are if you're watching this channel, then you need a mixture of the shorter intervals and the longer intervals. So you're attacking the training stimulus and helping to propel yourself forward. The interval training, as long as it's packaged in a well-structured week, is what is going to push you forward furthest on the 5K run. Number four, strength and recovery. We want to build the optimal running body. And the optimal running body is powerful, strong glutes and hamstrings, fast feet, and a robust lower leg and quads so that we can power ourselves over the ground. We also wanna look after our core so that in that fourth and fifth kilometer where maybe you're slowing down, you're able to keep your style the same, keep driving your arms forward and move towards the finish line and pace the 5K much better than if you have a weak core, weak glutes, weak hamstrings, and you're not able to tap into that strength. 
in order for that to take effect and to work for you, you've got to factor in rest days and recovery runs and easy runs and put as much importance onto those runs and the rest day as you do on the big sessions, the interval session and the long run. Number five, be patient and stick to the plan. Instead of trying to be the fastest possible 5K runner you can every single weekend, there's only so many weekends that that's gonna work for and then you're gonna plateau. You'll get deflated, you'll be demoralized, and naturally so, because you'll think there's no route forward. When in actual fact, you're just scratching the surface to your potential, it's just that you're not going about it the right way. So this should be really exciting for you. What I would do if you want to stay part of that 5K or park run community, is I would turn a lot of those into training sessions. And either they would become long runs, so your 5K as part of your 15 or 20K long run, or you could do a training session where you do park run at 80 or 90%, and then three or four times a kilometer at the pace that you want to run, your target pace for 5K in the future. It's a great session, and that turns you into a completely different athlete who's not just chasing after seconds, but is gonna propel them forward 10 or 20%. So there you go, five simple ways to move forward. And remember, it's all about consistency and thinking smart and training smart. If you got anything from this, please let me know in the comments, what's your current time for 5K and what's your target time? 